Aaron says, um, this is Aaron, this is Aaron's, this is Aaron's excuse. Um, well, you know, these things were happening and, you know, they took the gold off and the calf jumped out. <laughs> A calf, a, a calf jumped out of a fire. A calf jumped out of a fire? Really, Aaron? Ta da! Really? You never was an excuse. This, it, just, it, just, it just happened. What do we do after? Because when Moses said, Who's on the Lord's side? The Levites, this one particular tribe, said, Look, well, we don't know what Moses <laughs> Y'all in trouble. We already done blew it. We blown it. His conviction. We blown it. Let me go back to the man of God. Condemnation. You blowing my high Moses. You know what I'm saying? And he said, okay, Moses, so angry. He throws the tablets down. Throws the tablets down. The tablets he just got. I just ain't fresh. Written with the finger of God. It's a fresh tablet. And the earth boy opens up, swallows them up. He tells the Levites, oh, you Levites, you with me? Take your sword out, you kill everybody. Yeah. Everybody can get your hands on. You go to the camp, you just start slaying them. Mm-hmm. You're so here. Ah, you got people Purge. running home, you just like. I just got yeah. one. <laughs> no, 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 I just got one. She had one. We had a lesson about that one day. Yeah, 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 you see, you see, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Very serious. It's very con- So condemnation ultimately ends in damnation. You are dead. If you are condemned and you have no conviction, you will go to hell. That's not the bride. The bride is convicted. Don't you want the person you marry to be able to say I'm sorry when they're wrong? Yes. Oh my God. To be able to say the words, I'm sorry. Oh my so, God. My bad. I did. I did. Why I can't you ever get an I'm sorry? Out Can you just say I'm sorry? Who is it? We don't want any. Yes, we summon the police. Y'all done? Yes. Okay. Not the sign. It's not the sign. It's the sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. 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 I Wait for faith. Watch your feet go by. Go, go, go. Conviction, man. This is her old type. Conviction. Conviction versus condemnation. Uh huh. I don't know if this guy's doing it exactly. But, um. <laughs> you gotta say it. You gotta say it. You gotta say it. One is right. You get convicted. You go back. No. Mm-hmm. But then. Yeah, no. It's not like the feeling like. I don't want to say it's not good enough. It's like. You still no, got to do something. I want to speak for myself. Uh-huh. For all my years. I've heard. Alright. You leave it all the guys hands. They will take care of you. And I don't want to say. Well, what God's hands not enough. Because God's hands is more than enough. But like. But you still go back to it. Not that. It's your expectation. Huh? It doesn't meet your expectation. Not that is like. Alright, now I trust you. But. You like wait, what? What is going to happen? Right. Yeah. yeah. No. Can you give me some details? I'm here. That too, which? I'm here. And. Um, and wait, wait, wait. Let me get a down payment. God, let me know something. Right. I'm laying on you. Let me get a down payment. Right. That is real. That is real. <laughs> When it's a walk, when I say it's a walk, it's a walk. I mean, trust in God. I mean, it's like it's it's sometimes that's we trust we prayer. trust people well, that's more than just God. In, right? You better believe that's what they want. I mean, think of, let's let's bring it naturally. If you're married, mm-hmm. right? God <laughs> if you're married and you walk and somebody you know says. Okay. Um, I love you. You know, and she works. Let's just say she works at UPS where all the handsome guys work. That is so true. <laughs> <laughs> both, of them, both of them work. Let's <laughs> take my fingers. You the other way around. Yes, I, I believe it. They only hire. I've only hired. Never in the application. 
attractive? Are you attractive? Yes, I am. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You can you read it? You see what I'm saying? I can harass you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, you know she works at UPS and she says, I love you. And you say, okay, and she goes to work. And you know she went to work with a whole rack of handsome dudes. Okay, I know you love me, but. Where does Chastity go, real quick? I got the key. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, I'm going to swallow this. At some point, you have to trust. Anybody ever seen The Incredibles? You ever yeah. seen yeah. 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 the girl that he's working with? Oh, yeah. You saw how mad you saw how salty he no. was? No, I didn't see that. I did. He was salty. He had every reason to be hard. But anyway, like time. Yo, he did Jack and Star Wars. I haven't seen no time. 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 At some point, at some point, you have to go. So hold on, so. At some point, you have to, you have to trust the incredible, like the, the one of the Incredibles. You know, Mr. Incredible, he was going on here this special mission or whatever, mm -hmm. and because he had lost his job, you know the whole story. Well. She knows, she hears the woman's voice, she picks up the phone and hears the, another woman's voice and it's the woman giving her permission. And he says, and she hears it and she says, I love you. He says, I love you too. She said, so you going to work? Yeah, I got another conference. And he said, give me my suit, I'm going to. Right. The hair on his suit. But before he gets in the car and leaves, she says, I love you. That's some so, big trust. Uh, she, so she does not know why he's going. She does not know any details about anything. She just hears a voice and she knows that she's married to him, but you don't know all the details. You have to still trust. Now she did some investigation. Now we're talking about him and me. God is different. We, he's not lying to anybody. God doesn't lie to anybody. She flew out there. I don't she's know. She got her customized. She got her customized. She's bad. She's bad. because we don't have any details um and that's a that's just a part of the faith walk that's just that's just a part of the faith walk and that's the part that um that's the biggest pill to swallow in this whole christian thing is what do i really believe because there are going to be times where it's either going to be you either believe or you don't i mean that's every day but there are some events that happen that cause us that call on our faith to be like I was just talking to my parents today. They went out and bought a new washer and dryer. I was like, I need tuition. Okay. When the front load ones? A thousand. Right, 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 right. When right, the front load right. ones? Oh, I got I like three weeks. Yeah, front load. I was that to you. Man, I was like, I the ones that but, you, but you see all the evidence around you. It's like, you know what I'm this doesn't look like it's going to happen. So my mind don't make a sound. Is it? Do I? How am I gonna do it? I mean, and this is the time where you have to make sure that you are living what you know to live, because then you can depend on God to do. God is gonna do what He's He's dependable, whether we are faithful or not. God it's is scary. scary. It, it is Man. very scary, and I'm not even one to say that it's <laughs> not. Sometimes it can be very. Some people are like, oh yes, it's just faith. We're all great. Everybody can. You're, you're not saved. You don't believe you're not a Christian. No, sometimes you like something make you step back, like. Oh, you guys like, okay, okay. God, you out My there? job about to be over August 12th. Yeah, like, yeah, like, okay, and then school starts here. Everything is what shutting happened? down. Well, isn't that like, I mean, and this is, I'm just do. speaking from my, uh, from, from my experience, a lot of times, like, if there's something that's going on, you know, like, for instance, last year, I separated from my husband because he was trying to do other stuff, and I'm basically stuck with four kids. I don't know, don't have a job, that's don't vicious. know what I'm going to do. That's vicious. And I'm like... Okay, he ain't giving me no money. I gotta feed these kids. I don't know what I'm gonna do. They always hungry. <laughs> Girl, they always hungry. Kids are always hungry. Even when they finish hungry. eating, they still hungry. Yeah. Got a lot check, of check me out. I got fired this morning. <laughs> I, 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 got, I got set up at my job, set up by my coworkers, and and fired from my government job. 
had like you know oh, yeah that yeah like happens. you know what I'm saying I still have you know the the courage to have a smile on my face. That's amazing. Right I mean, you had Bible study. You could be cursing. She God. was there. You were there when I, the day it happened, yo. But yeah. you could be cursing God. Some people take the be route up in the and cuss God. At a government job, like you know, it's like the first thing you're gonna be like is God hates me. Right. Like, right. Of course, God. that's the thing that's in your mind. But I mean, that's well, when you depend when on your relationship. Well, the doors closed. Well, you know, all you gotta do is, is keep know. faith. You know. Yeah, you have to. And this is the thing. You, so you, you can't get around this. No, you can't. And what's up? It's nine twenty-one. This is the thing. This is when, and it may seem cheap. But this is when you got to make sure your relationship is intact because you need somebody you can completely depend upon. You, if you are in a true relationship with God, I promise you, He will not, He will not let you fall so hard that you can't recover. All of us, all of us have been in tight situations. And guess what? We're still going to be in some more like this. I'm still here. Guess what I'm saying? You're still here. If you got a breath in your body, you got lungs, you got, you, there's options. There are things that can happen. But this is when you make sure your relationship is, t is tight. Make sure you tighten up. Why? Because you need help for real. I mean, you don't just want to tighten up because you need help. But if there's every time you need to tighten up, it's now. You told me that exact same thing when I was in the hospital. Like, literally that exact You got to thing. tighten up because that's what you got. Who else? You don't have anybody else. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be so that, okay, okay God, because I tried everything. Because I hear people say this in church. I tried everything and not nothing else worked. Now I'll try you. That's not ideal. You shouldn't have to try everything and then try God. But if you get to that point where you did try everything and your flesh or your own human efforts fail, that's when you say, okay, God, if you love me and I love you, here I am. Let me recommit. Let me do my first works over. Forgive me for my sins. Show me where I went wrong if I went wrong. If I did not, give me grace to go through this. Give me mercy. Open up the doors you want me to. If that's not where you want me, okay, show me where you want, and I'll do what you want me to do. That's Abraham. That's why it was accounted to him for righteousness. Because God told him to go to a land that he had never seen. You see that? That's Abraham. He said, get up out of the land. Remember we talked about this a few months ago. Get up out of the land. Get, get away from your kindred. Get away from all these things that are familiar to you. And I'm gonna and go to a land that I'm going to show you. That's all the detail he got. Abraham was so convinced that this was what God wanted, and his he and now he's in a he's in a place where they worship many gods, and he says, "Okay, you be my God. I'm going to be in a relationship with you." And at that point, when he believed God and packed up his stuff, God says, "Okay, that's the kind of man I can use, even before you have any details. You trust me. That's the kind of relationship. That's my bride. I'm making the decisions. Trust me to make the decisions for you." The plans that I have for you are good and not evil to bring you to an expected end. It's Jeremiah 29 11. About that, um, like when you say God, do you think God has a plan for us or God just helps us to shape our own our own plans? Oh, he says he has, he has plans. So what about the people, Jeremiah 29 11? What about the people? Yes, Jeremiah 29 11. 29, 11. You know, they say it's when bad things happen, good people. And it does. It happened to Job. You know, he lost devout, devout, God fearing people. Yes. You know, That's in the Bible, too. That happened. That so, definitely happened. That's a whole book of Job is devoted to a man who, the Bible says, he feared God. He eschewed evil, pushed away from evil. He was upright. He did everything right. He was one of the most prosperous men. And Satan was already scoping him out. He was like, well, the only reason he wasn't than you, God, is because you got you got protection. You got hands around him. I can't touch him. You move that head, I bet you he curse you to your face. There's a war for your soul. For your for your sanity, for your soul, for your mentality. There's a for your self-esteem. There is a battle. And God says, Oh, okay. I'll remove the head. You can touch everything he got. Just don't touch his life. You still alive? There's still a there's a there's a there is a Glorified opportunity for you to glorify God. For you to snuff in those that say you say you thought you had, you thought it was down. Thought I wasn't gonna make it out of this, but here I am. Or like, hey, here I am. But here I am. That's right. That's what you that's what you need. You need to look at your spot. The first the first chapter starts telling you about the type of guy that he was. And all the things. One thing, this all happened. He started losing everything in one day. Sorry, book of what? Joe. No. No. My job. Like like job. Like job. job. It's like no, job. It's like 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 job. It
The scripture so say that he lost that. Yeah, the only one that that's not just no. Only book there. Jay Obi. Hey, you lost your you lost your job, but you gonna find your over there. All right. Oh, so so thank you. Said, you, 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 you see, and it's it's wow. so serious. It's so serious. That's why you're here. See, look at y'all. That's, that's why you're here. But I didn't look at it. J O B. You lost your job. You gonna find your Yeah, it does not be just over broke. Uh huh. Look at that. So just real quick, like so about the whole faith thing, like so if you have like a bill bill, uh huh. You don't have a job, right? You know you. Yes. And you, you know, you have faith that God is gonna bring you through. But does that mean that you should be sitting there, you know, like not trying to find a job or like not trying to find the money? Because it's just like, what do you do? Faith that God that that you want what God wants. Like I just don't. You better preach. Because <laughs> no, y'all gotta hold on to this because I'm gonna take you to James chapter one. Okay. Y'all gotta hold on to this because I'm gonna take the book of James. I know them. Like, I'm telling you. That is a very real you know, question like, what that I had about a lot of stuff. Scary. And I'm going to tell you, you got to go And then people always say, when you're trying to do your own thing, you know. Right. And then you're too busy like Abraham said, am I doing Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar? Am I doing too much? Am I just in the way? Or am I, I don't want to lay back. back. And I do anything. Like, that is a yeah. real I'm not gonna take it. I'm Can we just say like a little bit in the hand? I don't have nowhere to go, but I need you to hear. I don't have nowhere to This is like a little. That's my problem. That's like the club hanging that you hate.